I believe this is one of the reasons why uh, yeah, Bitcoin is overpassing Apple in terms of volumes. Do you think it can be a start of, you know, some kind of crypto revolution? Yeah, yeah, that's that's the beginning, man. If you, if you think about holding Bitcoin right now for the next 10 years, you're going to make much more money than just a quick cash uh, as, as futures, you know? You know what I'm saying? Hey guys, here's all time hi. My name is Kirill and today we are going to talk about top three crypto news of this week. And believe me, they are crazy. So if you will watch this video from its very beginning to the end, you will know about all this mad stuff going on in the market right now. And I'll also make an important promise to you. So let's go ahead. So guys, today I have my old friend here, Lucas Kalishko. So man, how are you doing today? I'm fine, man. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How about you? Yeah, wonderful as usually. Can you just give us a brief introduction, uh, like a couple of words about your background? Yeah, for sure. So basically, I'm Lucas. I, I'm from Brazil, living in Europe. Um, I ended up in crypto in 2019. Just found, found my, my first job in, in a crypto company. And since then, I'm, I'm a crypto holder. Uh, most of my investments go in crypto. And I'm excited. I'm excited about this bear market, uh, about the next bull market, and, and so on and so on. That's it. Nice to be here, man. Yeah, for sure, man. So what I want to discuss with you today, like three news. The first one, Bitcoin outperforms right. Apple. Then U.S. senators push a tax-free idea. And finally, of course, Ethereum network is new all-time high. So what do you think about Apple, about Bitcoin? What's your perspective? Man, uh both new, all the news are, are really good, really excited uh, about Bitcoin and Apple. It's something that I didn't expect, but there are some reasons behind it. Why is it happening? Uh, most of the, the users uh, buying buying Apple stocks, they're they're thinking about a long term ver version vision. Um, I guess they're buying for holding the stocks, and at the same time, when you see a bear market, people trying to make some dollar. What they would say, what they would do in crypto, they're doing. They're doing features. They're doing long. They're long in Bitcoin. They're short in Bitcoin. So it makes the the the, the volumes uh, uh, increase because people are buying and selling, buying and selling, buying and selling at uh, all the time. That's that's the main point. I believe this is one of the reasons why uh, yeah Bitcoin is overpassing Apple in terms of volumes. But uh, I guess I guess this is just a just a period of time because once the bull cycle is back people will be holding Bitcoin for for at least five to 10 years from now, man. But what, what do you think about that? Yeah, for sure. Just to explain to our audience, basically uh, more people now, they buy Bitcoin than people who just uh, buy Apple stocks. Uh, so yeah, I agree yeah. with you. Uh, I think that in the future, like Bitcoin will outperform not only Apple, but also uh, a lot of different companies. And like, uh, yeah, this will be like huge for sure. Basically, this for is sure. why we're in crypto right now. Um, yeah. Exactly. Uh, uh, talking to to a few friends that I have, I can see that nobody is investing anything right now, man. They are not buying crypto right now. They're just holding to see what's gonna happen with the market. And some of them that they want to do something, that they want to make some dollars. What they're doing is just features. So they're they're longing, they're opening positions, longing Bitcoin, checking the signals, checking the charts, selling Bitcoin, shorting, longing. So that's that's the volume that it, it's 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 being made. And at the same time, Bitcoin this week went from 19 to 24. Yeah. So this pullback also kind of uh, like pushed some people to also be part of the ecosystem to buy, to sell. So I guess these are the main points for like comparing Apple stocks and Bitcoin, why Bitcoin is overpassing Apple in terms of volumes. Yeah, for sure. And do you have any friends who buy actually uh, Apple stocks? Uh, actually, I do have. I do have some, most of them, they are buying for at least three to four years. So they are thinking about long-term um, and that, that, that's the main point for them. They're not buying and selling. They're not buying and thinking about one X or two X. They're thinking about like at least five X for now. Okay. So it's uh, something like different strategy. Yeah. When you buy stocks or when you buy Bitcoin, what is the difference in your mind? Man, the difference, uh, I guess from now, the difference that people that are buying Bitcoin right now, they're not buying Bitcoin for hold. They're buying Bitcoin just for making some cash, like quick cash, and then selling after that. And that's the main point that 
people should understand like Bitcoin is not is not just a, a, a quick cash that you can make it. Bitcoin is much more than that. So if you're thinking about entering crypto right now, you should think about buying Bitcoin and holding it at, for at least 10 years, five to 10 years from now. That's the main point of Bitcoin. That's the main point of crypto. Bitcoin is like at, at 22, 20, 10, 20, trading at $23,000. Bitcoin was 60. Bitcoin was 70 uh, uh, a few months back. So if you, if you think about holding Bitcoin right now for the next 10 years, you're going to make much more money than just a quick cash uh, as, as futures, you know? You know what I'm saying? And that's the difference. That's the difference uh, of people buying Bitcoin right now and people buying Bitcoin for a future, uh, uh, for holding to the future. And at the same time, uh, when people buy stocks, they already have this idea of buying stocks for at least one year, two years, three years, four years. So I can see this, this kind of um, um, disruption between people buying stocks and people buying crypto. People buy crypto in order to make some quick cash. They think they are buying uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and then in six months they will be rich. But that's not how, people, how, how things work, you know? And at the same time, when you go for a stock, you already know some people that they are buying stocks. They want to make a, a good money. They want to do it quick as well because it's normal. However, they have this idea that they have to wait at least one year, two years, three years, which is normal as any investment right now yeah but i think the majority of them they don't believe crypto at all so uh maybe in their yeah. idea it's <laughs> much more dangerous to buy bitcoin because they don't see any value in it but they can touch you know they can uh, they can touch the product that apple made iphone for instance yeah or macbook etc and they understand that it has uh something physical physical assets do you think it's uh, like do, do you think that's enough for not to buy Bitcoin? Uh, I think, I, I understand what you mean. I agree with you. Uh, there are many people that don't, they don't believe in the value of Bitcoin. Um, I guess this is something that we could uh, make it better in terms of uh, using crypto in a daily life, you know, like using crypto to do payments. Once the government is kind of, uh, started to tax the crypto, it will be much more easier for anyone to be part of the ecosystem, to hold crypto, to use crypto, to pay with crypto. So uh, we are still in the early stages where you are holding Bitcoin just by holding, but uh, you're not using crypto to do your, your daily, daily life tasks, you know? That's the main point. Why should I buy Solana right now? Just by speculation or there is a, a real user case? Why should I buy Bitcoin? Why should I buy it here? That's the main point. When, so, when you compare Apple, Apple, you're buying something, they have their products behind, they have their vision behind, they have the company for such a long time. So every year there is a new iPhone, every year there is a new MacBook. So they are doing something that it's, you can touch it. You can, you can at least, you can use it. You can try, you can, you can do things. With Bitcoin, it is, it is, so far it's just a way of speculation where people, uh, will be holding Bitcoin as a, as a, as a goal to Pondo. But the user case that are behind Bitcoin are still not well developed as Satoshi Nakamoto wanted us to develop, you know, the idea of why you have crypto and Bitcoin. So we are in the path of developing it. We're in the path of using crypto in our, in our daily life. And that's the main point, man. Once we arrive in, in, reach to this level where crypto will be everywhere around us, blockchain will be everywhere around us. So uh, we will see like a lot of people jumping crypto space, understanding, uh, uh, being part of the ecosystem and, and being happy for being here, you know? Yeah, for sure. But for instance, uh, I remember when, actually I know it, when Warren Buffett just bought uh, stocks of Coca-Cola, it wasn't a big company at all. So they, of course, they have this, you know, lemonade, but uh, they didn't develop, uh, they didn't develop it uh, like properly. But he believed in this, in, in in this direction, and he actually bought a lot of stocks. Don't you think that uh, is pretty much the same as uh, we see on the crypto right now? Uh, it is not. I, I I wouldn't say that's pretty much the same. Uh, because the, the, the fields that we are comparing are kind of different. Coca-Cola, it's, it's a company that are offering a soda. Bitcoin, it's not a company. It's just uh, 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 a technology that's offering blockchain behind itself. But 
when 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 he invested in Coca-Cola back in the days, he could see something in the future, but he wasn't sure. He wasn't sure what Coca-Cola would be. At the same time, here we are in the moment that we know what Bitcoin will bring us. You know, we know what we're gonna we're gonna be uh, in, in like uh, five to ten years from now, and what what the technology of Bitcoin, the technology behind Bitcoin, like blockchain itself, you know what it will be. Everything will be web three, man. So it's kind of a, a path that it's already uh, certain. It's like it's right there. There is no way around that it's gonna change it. It's right there. We're just waiting for the government to come in. We're just waiting for the central banks to be part of the ecosystem. And then we, we are going like straight forward, you know. Uh, and there is no, no uncertainty. Yeah, for sure. And how do you see the Web3 or the future? Man, I, I, I can see that every company, uh, everything will be Web3, man. We will be holding our own data. We will be sharing our own things. Everything will be on the blockchain. Blockchain, it's here to stay. Blockchain is not something that we will we'll use for like three, four, five years. And then after that, we'll be another technology. No, blockchain is here to stay, man. Everything will be in crypto. Everything will be in blockchain. That's it. What, what do you think? What, what's your perspective? Perspective. Yeah, the same perspective. I also think it will be huge. And basically, as far as I remember, uh, several hundreds of millions like people in the world, they use crypto, they use blockchain. But I think in the next couple of years, it will be like much, much, much um, more serious. Because in my personal opinion, after this bull run, um, I mean, the next bull run, uh, a lot of people will join crypto space and uh, yeah, it will be something huge. Okay, let me also ask you about the different news. Uh, recently, US senators, they proposed a bill um, Actually, the idea was to remove the taxes if the payment is less than fifty dollars, fifty US dollars. What do you think about this? How will this affect the crypto space of the future? It's it's really exciting to 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 receive this news, like to read something about that. Because for being a crypto holder, uh, Bitcoin holder, uh, uh, and other coins as well, uh, what I what, what I was talking to you about before, like the user of of crypto in general, in your daily tasks, in your life, in, 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 in everything that you do. So you knowing that by using crypto and, and doing crypto with, with less than $50 and don't, don't pay any taxes, it, what, what, what it bring, uh, brings us is like a motivation for people to pay with crypto, to receive with crypto, to use crypto to go in a coffee shop and buy your coffee $3 with Bitcoin or with any other crypto, USDT. Uh, doesn't matter. So it's like exemption for small transactions, making you uh, as a crypto holder to do not touch your fiat, you know, don't do a P2P to send the money to your wallet address, sell your Bitcoin or sell your crypto to use the money to buy things. So it's just a way of I'm holding my portfolio of crypto. I have my USDT to use it. I can go in a shop, buy something with less than $50 and just use my crypto to doing that. So it's it's a much uh, easier user case and uh, ut in terms of utilization of crypto in, 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 our, in our daily life. So for me, this is very excited. This is a way of push crypto in our lives and also to push people that have crypto or hold crypto or want to jump in the crypto space to use it crypto in terms of, of uh, in forms of payment. That's it. Positive for this patient, for this space in general. Yeah. Do you think it can be a start of, you know, some kind of crypto revolution? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the beginning, man. Once we started to use crypto to do everything, uh, as I said before, not just, just hold crypto as a speculation or hold crypto because it's a good, it's a good technology that will be much bigger in the future, but hold your crypto and use your crypto, you know? form of using the crypto this is the main point of of the revolution like people will see that by using crypto they can do things so this is when they started to okay there are many cases that i can i can i can do i can use i can make it i can i can be part of crypto and and many many different ways to 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 use crypto that's the main point as i would say so yeah definitely this is the beginning man yeah did you basically already try solana pay uh, not yet. I tried different pace, but not Solana yet. What, what do you say about Solana Pay? 
Yeah, I just watched the video and it's quite fast, it's quite convenient. So basically you can just take your phone and uh, pay as for instance you do with Visa MasterCard. Yeah, it's uh, very useful. Uh, yeah. You said correctly, if you have Solana, you can just hold it, but at the same time you can use it like in your regular life, you know? And yep. uh, yeah, for sure, it will be a huge advantage. Okay, and the last news I also want to discuss with you recently, uh, Ethereum network is all time high, and it was recorded at 600,000 active users, active uh, like addresses uh, in one day. What do you think about uh, this perspective? Beautiful. This is beautiful, man. That's that's my 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 first comment. It's beautiful to see how many people are jumping the space to buy Ethereum and being part of the ecosystem. Of course, this is related to to the roadmap that they released it last week. Uh, Ethereum 2.0 is around like 50%, 55%. So people are kind of seeing that finally we're going to have proof of staking in Ethereum soon. Um, and this is the impact. There are a lot of people in the space waiting for Ethereum 2.0. Uh, the price action, also this pullback that's happening this, this, this week, it's also a, a reason why people are buying Ethereum. I guess two, two, two or three weeks ago, uh, maybe even four weeks ago, Ethereum was was being traded by at one thousand dollars. Now Ethereum is one thousand seven, even yeah, less, nine hundred and seven, almost. Also, now you can see Ethereum being traded at one thousand seven hundred. So in a short period of time, so it's all all about like the the roadmap. It's all about Ethereum two point coming. It's all about the price action. It's all about the pullback that's happening right now. And at the same time, the growth of Ethereum ecosystem. Man. Uh, I mean, there are many people that put Ethereum and BT in the same in the same level. I would say that BT came came before. I don't want to bring this topic to 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 this conversation right now, like the, the, this this subject. But I would say that Ethereum it's a, it's a big player in the space, and the ecosystem behind Ethereum is huge. So it's just a matter of time. As I, as I was saying about the path that crypto will be there, we're just waiting for the time to, to come. But, and, and I would say that's the same for Ethereum. It's just a matter of time to understand that Ethereum will be a huge, huge, a giant in the space because the ecosystem behind it, it's unbelievable, man. So many projects building Ethereum. So many uh, EVM compatibles being created right now. Everything's connected. So 600,000 is just uh, a small a small number if you compare Ethereum in five to 10 years from now. Yeah. Do you think Ethereum team will meet all the deadlines to introduce proof of stake? Uh, this is a very good question because we are waiting this Ethereum 2.0 for over two to three years. Uh, I'm not sure. I wouldn't say that they can meet the deadlines, but at least we can see that there is a, 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 a gate, you know, like on the 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 lights in the end of the tunnel we can see that there is something going you can see that they are doing you can see that they are developing and there is a goal that's the main point there is a goal man yeah now we just have to hope of course and hope buy more. and hope <laughs> and yeah, buy sure. more. it's a good entry point thinking about it here in 4000 uh last year it's a very good entry point man 1700 thinking about it here what could be about the tier Ethereum, like in five to 10 years, you see Ethereum like at $25,000, at $30,000. So it's just the beginning. Yeah, man, actually all my family, like my mother, my granny, my small sister, they also bought Ethereum, Bitcoin, and several more stuff like Near Protocol, Solana, Cardano, etc. Nice. So nice, yeah, nice. great yeah, perspective. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video and frankly speaking, it was my first experience in terms of interviewing people and I really hope it was useful for you. So now I can make you a promise. I promise you to create a lot of content, a lot of new interviews with crypto people, wonderful guys, uh, with investors, with creators, developers, crypto millionaires. And yeah, I'll post it on the weekly basis, share with you. And I really hope you will see value in this content. So if you want to support me, please feel free to uh, subscribe to my all time high channel. Feel free to like this video and leave the comment below and see you soon guys at the new all time high crypto family. Bye.